Joe is a guy from the city. Jane's a real country girl. Ever thought of swapping lives for the weekend? Imagine doing another kid's chores. Playing someone else's games. How about getting to eat what other kids eat? Here's the challenge. Take two kids from two very different lives. Switch places for a whole weekend. And you have a swap. I challenge you to fly a plane. I challenge you to make a dessert. I challenge you to an archery match. The ultimate life experience. Swap TV. Hello, my name is Neil Strathby. I'm 13 years of age and I cook gourmet. One of my favorite activities is like, you know, gourmet cooking. It's artistic, but like, I'd say the um, excitement of making it is like the best part. Because you know, it's like really, it's actually fun. <laughs> I like action figures and my family. Breakfast is ready! We cook meals, like, you know, for breakfast and everything. Hi, I'm Noel Dingra, I'm 14 and I fence. And I do printmaking. Yeah, those are my hobbies. I've always liked sword play, and most of the sports that I do are individual sports, and it's pretty much your game. I really like lizards, and other people in my family don't want, really want to get a dog, and we don't have enough room to have a big dog, and little fluffy dogs don't really appeal to me. <laughs> I have no remorse for cookies. A lot of people say I'm unique. I just, all the stuff here I like, and everything I do, pretty much just for fun. excited about this weekend? Yeah. Ma What's exciting you about it? The fencing. I want to do the swap where I want to know what like other people's lifestyles are like. And like, it's a whole new adventure. Bye Neo! Bye Mom! Bye Chili! This is my mom and my sister doing a puzzle here. Looks pretty hard. Hello. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's the main thing for me. I, I'm looking forward to it. I like to try something new. I don't think I've ever done any gourmet cooking before, but I don't know. I can cook cereal. <laughs> I don't know, pizza. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. Say goodbye to Yoda. Bye, Yoda. May the force be with you. So yeah, I'll see ya. Have a fun time. I will. Thanks. <laughs> oh, great, thanks. Goodbye. I brought you a few things that I think you might need. And yeah. I'm gonna show you right up here is where Noel does his fencing. Come on up, I'll okay. show you. Hello. Hello, Neil. You're Neil. Yeah. I'm John Broken. We'll get to work. There you go. So, you're fully protected, so give it a bend. Now, these are designed specifically for sport. So we're here. Now, you gotta look fancy. Put the left hand way up there. Those are gonna be your basic parries. So, again, again. Arm forward, step. Straighten out your arm. There. That's what you're looking for when you score a point. I would put it on straight way first. <laughs> my, 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 my. You're doing good. That's right. Well, now, what happened there? You hit me in the chest. Yeah, how'd that happen, though? You walked into it. There's a sense to this game. There's a logic. And you can only do so many moves after one type of move. That's the idea. Oh, touche. Very good. I really wanted to do the swap just so I could try out someone else's life for a weekend. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Hi, you must be Neil. Hello. Hi, Neil. 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 Hi, Neil.
must be Noel. Hi, yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Lynn. I'm Neil's mother. Hi. And this is uh, Patricia Corsini's house okay. from Cook Gourmet. Hi, Hi Patricia. Hi, Lynn. Hi. This is Noel. Hi, Noel. Noel. Nice this to is meet Patricia. You too. Have you been cooking? Oh, well, I've done a bit of cooking. Nothing. Gourmet, no gourmet yeah. cooking. One of the key things that we're looking for is fresh ingredients, great produce, and um, uh, you know d that's what you're looking for when you're when you're trying to shop. You're looking for quality and freshness. My wallet will be a lot lighter when I come out of this place, but hey. <laughs> No, I challenge you to find the items on my shopping list. Hi, Noel. Hi. How are you? I'm John. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome nice to Pooza Terry's. Neil has somewhat put together a little bit of an ingredient <laughs> list for you. To, okay. The catch is, you've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. To do it. Okay. The moment you get your card. Oh, the moment I get my card. And damn me. Lemongrass. Pitaya, chocolate caviar, dragon rub, and truffle oil. My strategy is to ask a lot of people because I have no clue what half of this stuff is, so I'll be needing a lot of help. Hmm, let's see. Excuse me, uh, do you know where I'd find lemongrass? Let me think. Can you point me in the direction of lemongrass? Sorry. Lemongrass, there's one thing off my list. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Excuse me. You know where I would find um, it? <laughs> this, yeah. this one right here? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Truffle oil. Truffle oil? Follow me. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Chocolate caviar. Three minutes to go. Three minutes and counting. Excuse me. Dragon rub, eh? Two minutes. All right, I'm going over to the pitaya because I can't find any dragon rub. Could you point me in the direction of the pitaya? Of the... Pitaya? Just, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a fish. You want the Okay. One minute. Pitaya? Right over here, right? Thank you. Five, four, three. Here he comes, two, one. <laughs> Look at that, just in time. Phew. Here we go. Eddie mame. Eddie mame, thank you. I need Very the pronunciation good. of that. It's not lemongrass. That's not lemongrass? Not oh, quite lemongrass. Close lemon enough, grass. come on. It's parsley, but... Parsley. It's okay. Truffle oil. Very good. Okay, 400 for that. That's the caviar. Ah, you found the pita haya. I did. To get four to the six correct, I think it's not bad for a first run. Thanks. I think I did pretty well. I messed up on a few items, but it was pretty hard. Harder than I thought it would be. Instead of buying the $14 chocolate caviar, I ended up with the $400 real caviar, so that was a bit of a mishap. So it's neat. I learned a lot of stuff, too, so it was fun. Well, what do you think? Should we try a little bit? Sure. You ready for this? I guess so. Okay, you're doing pretty good. Neil, I challenge you to score a hit on my instructor, Brogan. I'm going to be a little nervous because I haven't really faced, in, like, you know, a pro. And um, I haven't done fencing for that long. Well, young Master Neil, you look ready. Are you ready for your first official fencing bout? Yes. En garde. Fred, allez. Oh, that's good. That is good. There we go. Oh, there's one. That's okay. Great. Yes. Oh, hi. Let's go. En garde. Keep going. Keep going. You're so fast. Oh, sorry. I've been practicing. You get the idea though, you're doing good. On guard. Whoa! Oh, the fake. Ready, on guard. Oh, that's good. That's good. There you go. Very good. Way to go. You got a hit. There you go. Well, how'd all that feel? Good. So you, you feel like a fencer? Sort of. Well, you're looking like one. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody has their own style. And you too, sir, have your own style. And that develops. That develops as you go. It's like anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So, one more left hand shake like a fencer. There you go. Congratulations. Thanks. My 
favorite part of fencing was, you know, the techniques and the patterns and like how to, you know, block and stab. <laughs> You have an older brother. Noel has a younger sister, so you're going to have a younger sister for the day, or for the uh, week. And she's looking forward to meeting you. Oh no. She's hoping maybe you'll play with her more than Noel does. <laughs> they always play with me. <laughs> I've never been to a French restaurant before. Nothing really, really fancy, just, you know, Swiss chalet and stuff like that. Nice to meet you. Yes. Hi. Hi. Frog legs with ratatouille. Wow. I don't know much of this stuff, but <laughs> oh, this is pretty new to me. Hi, <laughs> Neil. Here's our house. Doesn't it smell good right now? Yes. I like Neil. Oh, this is Alan, my husband. Neil. And this is Jade, Noel's little sister. Hello. Take the carpet rooms to the table for supper. I'm loading up some samosas. You can come back for those. Sure. Thanks. I don't think I'd have the frog legs from the menu. Uh, it doesn't really appeal to me. <laughs> so good evening. My name is Todd Clermont. I'm the chef at Auberge de Pommier. And uh, this course is Les Cuisses de Grenouille. It's pan roasted frog's legs. So enjoy. Oh, well, that would do it. Try it. <laughs> they taste okay. It was just the whole idea behind it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. But, you know, I'll get over it. Okay, let's eat. Would you like some rice to start and we'll put it on top? Yes, please. Hey, Neil, have you ever eaten curry with your hands? No. There's a rule. You're supposed to only use your right hand for eating because your left hand, Jade's giggling, she knows, your left hand is for something else, something entirely you want to stay away from your... <laughs> There's not a lot of toilet paper in those countries. So the next course is going to be grilled veal tenderloin glazed with a French ghost cheese on a ragu of escargot and wild mushrooms. Mm. Uh, I don't know. If I had to choose between frog legs and escargot, I think I'd take the escargot. Hey, Neil, this is Vandalu. It's a secret family recipe. Ooh. I love this. I'm glad. This is amazing. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Can't believe you made all of this. <laughs> Neither can we. Everything was really visually appealing. Like, I didn't think you could make food look that good. But, like, you know, you see it in magazines and stuff, but it was, everything would just looked great. Like, before you ate it, you're like, is that food? <laughs> Looks more like art, but <laughs> I think my favorite part of the meal was the dessert. No, this is our dog, Chili Dog. Yeah. And no, this is the room where you're going to be staying. This is Neil's room. He has his little fish, pretend fish, up here. <laughs> That's a pretty small bed. <laughs> It's going to be cozy. OK, now also it's just about this time that we feed chili. Feed chili. Yes. Just in the bag, one cup. What is it? What is it? Here you go, chili. You like that? That was pretty easy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feed this. 
Um, there's crickets. Um, there's crickets. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is so, so strange. Come on, Chili. My first swap day, it was, it was really fun. The restaurant, that was a unique experience, I guess you could call it. It was really fun. Some of the food wasn't right up my alley, but I had a great time, and Pusateria's was great. There's just so much to see and so much to do in there. It's amazing. Come on, Chili. Feeding Chili is a lot easier, because you don't you know, have to like get the bugs or anything. You just have to get kibble, just put it in. She just eats it, gobbles it. This is like really hard, actually. I don't really like crickets. <laughs> so strange. <laughs> I think Jade's pretty brave because like, I would never pick up crickets, okay? <laughs> she likes strawberries. You know, usually our guest breakfast person sings a song for us at the table. <laughs> Do you have ideas for printmaking? Some. Yeah? Get some ideas in your head. I've got some paper here and a pencil. I think I'm gonna make a wiener dog. A wiener dog, that's a good idea. Do you know any wiener dogs? Yeah, I have one. Oh, great. So everybody's got the recipes for today. Um, we've got about four or five things that we're gonna be working on. I know it's a little bit different from the last class. Oh, hi Noel, how are you? Um, everybody, Noel's here. He's gonna be taking over the place uh, of Neil, who's uh, away today, so grab a seat. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a shrimp cocktail. Really simple, really tasty, looks really pretty at Christmas time if you're looking at something at Christmas time. Okay, so Noel, come on up. You wanna take some of that? This is really pretty. I mean, you know, it's really attractive, really simple to do. So you can see you've got a really nice layered look. And then you're just going to take some of it and you're going to pour it over top. I'm just going to get the shrimp. If anybody likes shrimp, if you guys want to try it, I think she's hungry. Someone feed her. So bon appetit. Have some of this. Enjoy. It's really fun. It's uh, neat that everyone can get involved and just talk out. It's not like... It's really casual, but yet you're learning a lot of stuff too. So it's a lot of fun. I think the best part of the class so far has just been uh, learning all these new skills and stuff like that. You just get to learn a whole lot of new things, and I like doing that. Have you done this before? Confess, you're a chef. I've never done this before. It's because you get to eat the stuff afterwards. It's so This is my studio, Neil. Whoa. Neil, I challenge you to make a print. Okay, a print is, just like I told you before, I think about your fingertips, there's little ridges there. Mm -hmm. So when you have dirt or something on your finger, you leave a print. That's the same thing. We're gonna take this piece of linoleum that's nice and smooth, and we're gonna make some ridges into it. Hmm. What's your dog's name? Chili. Chili, okay. I decided to call it chili on grass because it is a chili on grass, you know, chili grass. Linoleum, don't put your hand too close because it is warm. Okay. The ink won't go when we put ink on top. Yep, you got it. Well, I thought it'd be hard, but it's actually pretty easy. It's not bad when you get used to it, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to do pretty good on my challenge. I don't know. I don't really know what my challenge is, so... No, I challenge you to make a dessert for my family. Orange Maladines, I guess. Or Madelines, I guess. There. Where would I find half this stuff? <laughs> Things are kind of confusing right now. I've never done any of this. This challenge isn't really what I expected. I thought I'd get a bit more help. Probably messed everything up already, but <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to taste like. That sounds mucky. <laughs> Fold in the flour. Fold. Hmm. I have no idea what folding in flour means, so try my whoops, try my best. Orange zest. <laughs> I hope this is right, otherwise might have a shock when they're eating this, but I think I'm doing okay. Let's hope that's orange zest. 
I'd like to see how they turn out. I think I did a lot of things right and probably more wrong, so. <laughs> Okay, this is the etching press. This is where your your uh, print is going to go. 100% mm -hmm. rag paper. So put the two corners right there. Yeah. I haven't really you know, used a printing machine before. Yeah. Squish it. Like I've used like you know potatoes and there this like cuts it. Through and just peel the print back from one corner. That's Whoa. it. The first time I saw my prints coming out, I liked it a lot because you know I didn't know it turn out like that. Okay, Neil, you've got five prints. Mm -hmm. This is how I sign my prints. A printmaker signs it in pencil. I think my printmaking challenge was, you know, really good, because, like, you know, I never did a print, you know, that well before. You just want to protect the prints? Okay, they're all protected. Wow. Great job. Thanks. You're a great student. You learned okay. quick, and you did a fantastic first print. After they cool, uh, just turn them over into a uh, onto a tray or rack, I guess this thing under here will do, and then I guess we can eat them. They don't want to come out. I don't want to break them. There's one. They look all right. Didn't really know what I was doing, but luckily things turned out. <laughs> They look pretty good. I hope they taste pretty good too. Now it's time for the guinea pigs. Oh. Excellent. Mm. Mm, they are good. Wonderful. I think I did pretty good on my challenge. They taste great and they look great. So, there you go. The best part of this challenge was that there was a lot of payoff because they're good. Really, really enjoyed having you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was great here. So here's um, a book from our family to you. Thanks. Just to say how much we Thanks appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. Bon appetit. Lynn, Gord, Neil, Evan, and Chili. This book looks great. You're welcome. Hot off the press, I just framed your print. What do you think? It's amazing. So, thanks yeah. for coming and visiting us. Thanks. You're a great guest. Anytime you want to come visit again, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Neil. Thanks for letting me stay at your house. You're welcome. Okay, bye. 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 Neil? Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for helping me clean up here. <laughs> so how is it looking after all my pets? Uh, it's a lot more work than just chilling. You know, it's super hard because you have to feed it crickets and you know, I don't do that every day, right? The best part of my weekend was the activities, fencing and printmaking. And meeting their family, you know, meeting new people. I think my um, weekend was awesome. <laughs> No, what was the hardest part, like, to you? I think the hardest part for me this weekend was uh, the frog's legs. Yeah, I don't usually eat frog's legs. So that was my first time, so. My whole SWAT weekend was great. I, I couldn't really pick a favorite thing, but everything was great. The cooking classes and the pusateries and everything. I was looking for just something new to try out. I didn't have any expectations or stuff like that, and I found this, and it was great. Awesome.